Ghost Monkey TV. King of the Pirates. Okay, guys, what is up? It's me, VVP Luffy M2, joining my friends Boltman64 and Rogue64. Or, wait, is it Boltman67 Boltman and Rogue64? Whoa. Boltman, what is with the 67 anyway? I don't know. I, one day I just. I mean, I had to come up with the number somehow, because, you know, back then, like, when I came up with the name, you know, everything had a number at the end of it, like, you know, emails and stuff, or whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. And, uh, Justin64, I'm guessing, because of Nintendo64, well, you know, I don't even give a shit right now. Anyway, guys, so, um, I'm joined by them. You can link to Bullman's channel. It will be in the description. Not that he has many videos to watch, period. And, uh, you might know Justin from a triple com I did with, um, with Bio and him a couple months back. If you were subscribed to me back then. And if you're not, well, go fucking watch the video. Anyway, guys, um, today we're talking about our top five games to get by the end of this year. Um, and I'm going to start off from lowest to bottom or lowest to highest. Uh, you guys want to do the same thing? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go that way. Okay, so number five, I have Call of Duty Ghosts. Why? Because, well, it's just another Call of Duty game, so not that high on my list. But it's still got to be on there. Number four, Splinter Cell. The game would be higher, but it literally comes out in 12 days, so there's not really much point in putting it up there. Number three is Assassin's Creed 4. Why? Because Assassin's Creed 4 looks fucking amazing to play. Number two is Watch Dogs. Why? Well, show some support to Ubisoft, and also it's basically the closest thing we're going to get to Grand Theft Auto. Number one is Wind Waker because it's the only 3D console Zelda game I never played for one and two. It's also hailed as one of the greatest 3D console games Zelda ever. Also because of a giant fucking hammer. Uh, Bullman, your turn. I'm going to have to get a gameplay for this second round. <clears throat> Alright, um, my fit number five would be Super Mario 3D World because, well, it's a Mario game. And, Does that yeah, come out Mario next year or this year? This year. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it does. I mean, having us release date, but they said December, so... Yeah, number four would probably be Watch Dogs, because it looks really amazing, and it's like Grand Theft Auto, but I mean, I'm not going to get it till like Christmas or something. Number three would be Sonic Lost World, because, well, I'm a Sonic fan, and the last couple games have been pretty good. Number two would be Assassin's Creed 4, because, well, I like Assassin's Creed, and it looks like it's going to be awesome. And number one, Splinter Cell Blacklist, because the multiplayer looks awesome, and I played, like, the first couple Splinter Cell games, and they were really fun. So, yeah. Hey, on Justin, you. you have a top five? Y yep. Number five will have to be Ghost, because, like you said, it's just another Call of Duty game. They're going to mess it up, like always. Uh, number four will have to be uh, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I love Zelda, to be honest with you, but, uh, I don't know. It's just, uh... Number three will have to be uh, Super Mario 3D World because I'm a big Mario fan. Been playing since I was like two. And number two will have to be Splinter Cell. And number one will have to be Watch Dogs because I mean, just be honest, Watch Dogs is a mix between Assassin's Creed and Grand Theft Auto. So, yeah. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's comparison. my list. So, um, yeah. guys, what do you think of the list of our lists? And uh, if you have a list of your own, put it in the comment section. Let's face it, guys. If we were doing a list of games to come, that were coming out in 2014, whatever you're going to get, about my entire list would just be um, Super Smash Brothers. Like, five would be Super Smash yeah. Bros. Four Smash Bros. Three Smash Bros. Two Smash Bros. And one other fucking Wait, Smash Bros. Wait, Luffy. Luffy. Luffy, I got a question yeah. for you in this. What? When are we going to play Injustice and, and do a video about it? Hmm? Hey, how about we do Injustice gameplay for this? Um, for this? Me and you? And Kyle. Oh, you Why not? You, yeah, we'll do Survivor yeah, or King of the Hill. Could, yeah, let's do Survivor. Or King of the Hill. Yeah, no, sir, let's do Survivor so we can at least kill Justin. Like, It'll take like 20 tries, but we'll be able to kill him finally. <laughs> yeah, the, the only chance we're going to get is when his health bar is at like an and, inch. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. My name is VVV Luffy M2. Uh, I've been joined by Boltman67 and Rogue64. And, uh... Go check out Bullman's channel. I mean, there's nothing on it that's worth watching, but... Yeah. Never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he gets his gaming PC and stuff and, like, capture card, he's going to be doing a lot of shit. So, yeah. oh, guys, I might have a new series. Um, you, might, you, uh, you haven't heard about it yet, but I've actually been getting back into some old shows I've been watching. Like, I used to watch as a kid, like, Ed and Eddie. And um, I heard a lot of new things I heard, didn't realize in the show, like, the swears in it. And so I've been looking up this kind of stuff, and I found theories about those shows... And, um, like, Ed and Eddie, um, Rugrats, and Finn and Jay, Adventure Time. And I thought those theories were interesting, and oh. I wanted to share them with you guys. But I was wondering if you guys actually wanted to hear it, 
or if I would just be wasting my time making these videos. Anyway, choice is up to you guys. Leave in the comment section below your top five and if you really want to hear these theories or not. Um, so thank you for watching, guys. Check out Bowman, and we're going to be posting this, like, maybe in the next couple days or so. Bye. Peace. See you later, kid.